Hello, I'm Marion Hall. In this video, I'm going to give you an insight into some of the processes I use in my work. So first of all, we'll look at a textile piece that I've created called Xenotopia 2. And it was inspired by my visit to the salt flats in the Atacama Desert in Chile. And in the second half, we'll look at one of my lockdown prints, which I've created based on, well, lockdown. So let's have a look at those processes. So this is one of the images from the Atacama Desert that inspired this piece of work. Before I start a piece of work, I always do a lot of work in my sketchbook and work through some ideas. And for this piece, I got some very um, salty water, which I laid onto fabric and waited for the water to evaporate so I could see what the salt crystals looked like. After studying some of the crystal shapes, I started to do some drawing so that I could use that shape to print with. As you can see from my sketchbook, it was full of ideas for the Atacama Desert. I couldn't wait to get started. I wanted to create an image that was simple in structure, but had lots of interest if you look closely. I used the drawings of my salt crystals to create a Thermofax screen that I could print with. I'll show you how I use the Thermofax screen to print with using blue dye, just so that you can see it better. The fabric is made of a printing over and over again and sometimes taking some of the colour away and then over printing. So it doesn't need to be a very precise process. So here's a close up of the finished work. I've added stitches in crystalline shapes to represent the rockier areas in the landscape. Let's move from the textile process and have a look at the print processes. I played with lots of ideas during lockdown and this is one of my favourites. So I wrote over and over again the words stay at home and I made this paper sculpture and I photographed it in my studio in different lights and I was absolutely thrilled when one of the shadows it created looked like a body. I wanted to take the shapes from these images into print and so I created this collagraph plate to print from. I've used my plan to ensure that the individual parts of the collagraph plate were placed in the right position before printing. And then I hand painted the shadow. As well as creating the paper version, I've also created another piece in fabric and I've added stitch to that. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about it, do contact me through my website, marionhallart.com.